Hi, I'm Scott Hanselman. This video is meant to explain to you what's going to happen with Windows 10 and what you should do about it as a user of either Windows 7 or Windows 8 and 8.1. Now right here you can see that I'm using Windows 7. Okay, This is my Windows 7 machine. I'll right click on computer in the start menu here and hit properties and you can see that it's Windows 7 from 2009, six years ago, and I'm running Service Pack 1 because I'm keeping my Windows update uh, you know, running and in the background and updated. It's a modest machine with an i3 and 4 gigs of RAM. If I click on the Start menu, you see my items here, my items here. It's a very familiar Windows 7 machine. If I go to Windows Update, because I'm totally up to date, you can see here I've got a little kind of an advertisement within Windows Update that says Windows 10 is coming soon. If I click on Show Available Updates, you see the regular Windows Update that you're used to, but here it says Windows 10 is coming soon. If I click Reserve, it's going to pop up a menu here that says Get Windows 10 and says, hey, your upgrade is reserved, and I've at this moment opted in to Windows 10. My machine will be upgraded on July 29th. Today is the 30th of June, and then I could put in my email as well. Now I can hit the little hamburger menu here that's called the hamburger menu. I can click on view confirmation and if I want to I can hit cancel. Okay, I'm going to cancel the reservation just to make a point here and close this. And then I put it right back where it was. Also notice here in the corner you've got this little advertisement, this little pop-up here. This little pop-up for the techies out there is called GWX and yes it is running in the background and it does use a little bit of memory but it will go away once you upgrade to Windows 10. You can confirm that it is what you think it is. It's not a virus. It's an upgrader. I can click upgrade. Um, I can hit open file location. So right click, open file location. I can look at GWX, hit properties. You can see that it is from Microsoft and it came down early in May. So they've been prepping us to upgrade the world, upgrading the whole world to, to Windows 10. This GWX get Windows 10, that's what the X is for, will start downloading and upgrading you to Windows 10. What you can do is click on that, you know, certainly reserve your upgrade, but click on the hamburger menu here and say check your PC. And it'll tell you whether or not you're ready to upgrade. You can see here that I have a fast enough processor, I have enough memory, and it says here, check the report later for updates about your apps, okay? So what this means is that if I did have issues here, you can see that it was last run on the 3rd, if I had issues, they would tell me. On one of my other machines, it told me that a driver was out of date, or that an application I needed to upgrade. So I can basically get prepared if I want to, okay? Now I'm going to switch over to a Windows 8 machine, show you the same thing. And then we'll look at uh, Windows 10 and what it's going to look like. So it, it's not going to look too different. You've got your task bar. You've got your start menu. So just kind of sit there and look at that. Let's switch over to Windows 8, and then we'll switch to Windows 10. This is Scott again. Please forgive the audio change. I've switched microphones. I'm on a different PC. This machine is a Windows 8 machine. You can see the change in the start menu there in the corner. And I'll get the start screen. Okay. So you can see that that's the start screen that confused so many people. I click on desktop, and this again is Windows 8, right click, Windows 8.1 Pro, and then in the corner here again is that little ad that says get Windows 10. Now you'll notice here that it says enjoy Windows 10 for, and then it has a, a dollar sign stricken out, and it says free. They are in fact giving away a full version of Windows 10. I, I personally think that having people on Windows 7 and Windows 8 is, you know, costing them money. They don't want to have to support those things. It would be better if everyone were on the same version of the operating system and they're willing to upgrade everyone. So you, you have a year to choose. If you don't install it on July 29th, you can wait, see if your neighbors like it, and then install it at some point afterwards. You have a year to install it and you get a free version of Windows 10. And this is important to note, it doesn't start costing you money after the year. Okay, this isn't a subscription, it's not a bait and switch, it's just that you have a year to take advantage of that free offer. I can go and reserve it, 
Let's check my PC first. You can see everything is cool. View confirmation, I upgrade as reserved. And at this point, I don't need to do anything. Now, if I want to, I can hit Windows W, type in Update, and go to Windows Update. You can see my upgrade is reserved. And if there were any additional updates, like here's a driver update, they will give those to me as well. Now, what's going to change, right? This is the start menu. You may or may not like that. Let's switch over to Windows 10 and take a look. So here is Windows 10. Now this is Windows 10 build 159. So this is not the final build, but I want to compare this to what we saw a minute ago in Windows 7 and Windows 8 and what you'll see when you show up here. So you've got your desktop, you've got the nice new Windows 10 wallpaper. You still have your taskbar. We've, they've added they've added this ask me anything where you can click there and ask Cortana questions how old is Oprah Oprah Winfrey is 61 years old will the weather be nice tomorrow the forecast for tomorrow shows sun with a high of 86 and a low of 66 but I've still got my start menu here. Now this is a little bit more like Windows 7 right off the bat. Um, you've got that left hand column. If I click on all apps, it looks very familiar. On the right, you've got tiles like Windows 8. So it's a balance between the two. I like to think that Windows 10 is Windows 7 plus Windows 8. But I can move my mouse here on the edge. You see that? Resize. I could make this double wide if I wanted to, or maybe a little bit taller or a little bit shorter. So that gives me the balance between the start menu and the start screen. Now if I switch this to tablet mode, I swipe in with my finger from the right hand side and then click tablet mode. Instead of a start, a start menu, instead of a start menu, I will get a start screen which is friendlier for tablets. And then on the left-hand side, I can go to my apps like that. If I swipe in, I hit tablet mode, and that goes back the way it was. Applications like, uh, here are some new Windows applications like calculator or remote desktop or the new getting started application. You'll notice that these are not full screen. These are resizable Windows apps that are, you know, the way you'd expect them to look. They all have this hamburger menu here, these three lines. There's a menu, there's a menu, and there's a menu. Now, if I switch into tablet mode, or I swipe in, I click tablet mode, or maybe I disconnect my keyboard, you'll see that now I've switched to tablet mode, and those have gone full screen, kind of like an iPad. Notice that the taskbar has changed as well, and I've got Cortana, the little helper, has turned into a button. I've got an added back button now, okay? Kind of like the back button you see on Android. And then I've got this task switch button. I can long press on that and it'll ask me, well, do I want to show my app icons? Do I want to show my notification icons? But if I just tap it, see, there's me recording. There's my calculator. There's my remote desktop. I can switch between those tasks really easily there just by tapping. It's the same thing you get if you swipe in from the left. I swipe in from the right. Here's my action. Here's my action center. I'm going to go ahead and clear my notifications. I will click tablet mode, and then I'll switch back to uh, regular old Windows. Let's go ahead and run Word. So here's Word. Again, if I switch into tablet mode, Word is now full screen. Turn it back, it goes away. But I can always minimize and maximize and run my Windows like I could before. You can run any Windows app that you could before. So any old Windows application, here's Notepad, right? Notepad hasn't changed. I can run Notepad, which is an old application, next to a new one like Music. You can run Quicken, you can run QuickBooks, you can do whatever 
makes you happy. If I go into tablet mode, you'll notice what happens to Notepad, it goes full screen, because you don't typically resize your windows when you're on a tablet. Switch out of tablet mode, goes away. Now, if you don't have a tablet or you don't have a Surface or you don't have a machine that you care about tablet modes on, then you'll never think about this stuff. So that's really important to uh, to remember. And if, if you don't want to see this stuff, you can make this as small as you want or as large as you want. You can certainly unpin all of these. And if these are moving around and they bother you, I can just say, turn live tile off and they will go away. So you don't have to see these. Even if you want to get rid of these, let's get rid of uh, news. We'll unpin that. Maybe we'll just put Word up there and we'll have Word and Excel. Let's go ahead and grab Excel. Pin to start. Go ahead and we'll stick that up here. And you're going to have just irregular icons if you don't like moving tiles. If you don't want these here, I'm going to right click and unpin. Let's put news back. I type news. I right click. I hit pin to start. News is back down here. And I can right click and then make it a little bit bigger. And then turn the tile back on. For the most part, upgrading to Windows 10 will just work. But again, before you do, you're going to want to go and check that little notification in the corner there that we saw a moment ago and click on Check My PC and make sure that your drivers are up to date, that your programs are up to date. You're going to want to visit that a couple of times before July as you prep. And with all things, please, please, please back up your stuff. Okay? It is not going to be a surprise. When this happens, you're going to have plenty of warning, but seriously, get a USB key, put your things in OneDrive or Dropbox or Box or Google Drive or somewhere. Back up all your stuff because you just never know. It's good practice regardless. I have had no trouble upgrading seven different machines up to uh, Windows 10, but that doesn't mean that you won't potentially have uh, an issue. I'm feeling pretty good about it, though. I honestly was thinking that build 130 was pretty rough. I'm finding that uh, these newer builds are looking pretty sharp. So I hope that you have as much fun with Windows 10 as I am. Please do subscribe to my channel.